Hey guys, it's Jaeger262 and welcome back to Armored Warfare. So as you can see here, we got some goodies today in time for Bastille Day, which is Sunday, yeah, Sunday, July 14th. Anyway, I didn't know what day it landed on. Which is the French Independence Day, sort of. It's not exactly translatable into that, but it is the day that they stormed the Bastille and began the French Revolution, so... Happy Bastille Day to anybody in France. And for that, we get some premium time. We get some decals and avatars and stuff like that free. But that's not what I wanted to talk about. What I wanted to talk about is this edition, which is finally, just in time for Bastille Day, the other half of the French tech tree. Now, for anybody who had the C1 Arietti, which is the one that was just on screen before, that Tier 8 Italian main battle tank, you will find this in your garage first things first the tier 8 al hussein hybrid vehicle which is basically just a challenger one that is souped up with new aps new era and i think it fires the same rounds as the challenger only this one also gets heat so i actually i can double check that right now let me just yeah because this one gets hesh does it get heat though yeah hesh no heat the al hussein gets heat rounds which is nice i will be doing a review on this vehicle first not today but probably later i'm going to be doing all the vehicles in the french tech tree but this will replace the arietti and the great thing about it that i want to show you is that it comes 100 percent research so you get all the things unlocked now obviously if you're on the challenger one you didn't have the arietti unlocked unfortunately you don't get it but if you were grinding towards something with the arietti like i was grinding towards the challenger two and i was only about as you can see down here like 30 percent of the way through you actually now get all that experience up and so I can just get the Challenger 2 right now, today, first thing that I do, which is great. That aside, the rest of the tech tree does look pretty interesting. I've been messing around some of these vehicles. The C1 Arietti actually doesn't go anywhere in this tech tree. So if you're like me and you weren't really a big fan of this vehicle, I would recommend just not researching it anymore. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. But it's an interesting addition to this tech tree, and I think it works really well because... From the looks of how the Leclerc tanks operate at their respective tiers, armor-wise, it matches the Arietti. Not a lot of frontal armor, but hard-hitting, accurate guns. And so, you can see all of them here. I'll be doing reviews, starting with the Tier 7 and going all the way down the line. The only vehicle I won't be reviewing, but I want to show you anyway is the Leclerc T40. And the reason I won't be reviewing this is because it is a tier 9 premium. And so it's worth 14,000 gold or about 75 American dollars. And that's a little too expensive for me. But it is an incredibly interesting vehicle, in my opinion. It has a 40mm auto cannon, which is great. But its four ATGMs operate like the Javelin missile system. And what I mean by that is you can only fire them while locking on to a target so kind of like when you lock on using auto guided missiles on other premium vehicles it's the same concept only it has to go oh they are javelins okay that's what i want to check so i'm going to actually see if i can yeah go to the vehicle testing area really quick and show you what i mean by that for anybody who doesn't know the javelin is an american self-guided man portable anti-tank weapon which is just a really long way of saying that it's a self-guided ATGM launcher that you hold. The only thing that makes it unique is that unlike other launchers of its kind, you actually place the javelin, you carry it and point it straight up. You lock on like normal, but the, miss the uh, warhead will actually shoot straight up out of the launcher and then find a target and slam down into it, kind of like a swing fire. And so you'll see what I mean right now. If I just aim at a target and try to fire, I can't do anything. So what you do is you right click and then it will lock on. And once you have the lock on, there it goes. The missile do an all right amount of damage. It's just this one animation that I think is absolutely incredible. 
Uh, it does carry 1,200 rounds total, so 600 high explosive, 600 APCR, and they're actually pretty good rounds. I mean, they get 210 millimeters of penetration. So there's very few vehicles that actually are able to block that. I mean, obviously that's just a tier 8, but it's ripping through it doing about 75 to 80 damage per hit. And the Javelin missiles, while they only do about 600 damage, do have a fair amount of penetration. They have 600 millimeters, and so once you upgrade them, because even though this will be a premium vehicle, it is part of the French tech tree, so you'll have to do the same kind of choices, upgrading them, what do you want to upgrade. Depending on which patch you choose, you will get improved missiles that have greater effects of damage and penetration. So I'm not too worried about them just doing the base 500 to 600 damage. But yeah, anyway, that's pretty much it for the T40, because again, I'm not going to purchase this, so I won't be doing a real full review. I just wanted to show you guys at least that part. Uh, really interesting. I hope we get to see other Javelin-based vehicles in the game. I don't really know of any vehicles that currently use only the Javelin. Uh, but if you know of any, please leave them down in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about the T40 and if you think it's worth the 14,000 gold price. That's just a little bit high for me for any premium vehicle, but very cool. The Leclerc's themselves actually look amazing. It's exactly what we were promised. The only thing I don't like about them is the armor options on them. And so the tier seven, I'll show you this probably in a video tomorrow, is great. It looks like in terms of just how a gun operates, gun handling should be great, should get great penetration. You're going to have the ability to actively spot multiple targets once you unlock that ability through grinding up its upgrade tree. But its armor is just not the best in the lower plate. However, you do get steel armor, which adds protection to the sides, and then composite screens, which add protection only to really missiles. And so it's going to be a very front hull down vehicle, but no matter how you angle this vehicle, this entire front part of the tank is going to be easily easily penetrated. And so, I mean, that's not, that doesn't make it a bad tank. You're, it's what you're looking at here is just everything here is going to be penetrated 100% of the time, even by light vehicles. And then once you have the screens on, it should protect this from ATGMs and maybe some auto cannons. But other than that, not a lot of protection, and all the Leclerc's up the tree have a similar, I'm not going to go through all of them right now, but they all have a similar armor layout, and so it's going to be exactly as they were advertised, and that's why I said they're amazing, but I'm hesitant. Exactly as advertised. Main battle tank, support role, great at finding targets, great at firing at targets, good gun handling, not brawlers, and they're not traditional MBTs. They're going to be really fast and really good spotters almost like a light tank or AFV hybrid and that's why I'm interested in this line and now I will get more with the review the last vehicle I didn't cover was the BCAC Mephisto which was personally the most exciting vehicle of this tree for me because I loved the C13 as you know and so I'm gonna try to grind all day today we do get a three times experience her first victory today and I think it's gonna last all the way through the weekend so get out there and grind and I'm going to be grinding the Leclerc prototype trying to get this vehicle because it is the tandem heat missile vehicle it's the only other one at this tier I believe that's wrong I'm thinking of the Wiesel that's the only one at tier 7 so this is tier 8 so I'm wrong it's really not that special then but tandem heat missiles are kind of cool to use and I just want it to have just just messing around with this unique tank destroyer it's on an apc hull which is why it looks like that it's very fast great camouflage so and it has the ability to do missile volley i didn't you could read that there but i forgot to mention just like the cornet you're able to fire two missiles in the air at a time i think up to all four of them if you hit the right upgrade but i'll cover that in my review of it Anyway, I just wanted to do that a really quick video, news video on Armored Warfare's Bastille Day update. So lots of cool stuff. Each one of these French vehicles comes with their own camouflage to unlock, but also they just released 
Bastille Day themed skins for the Leclerc prototype, the OF40, and the ERC90. I can't remember it because it's not actually on this tech tree. Oh, and for the AMX10 RCR. So there's Bastille Day camo. They released the French camouflage today. So this whole Bastille Day update is all about the French. It's very cool. So thank you so much for watching. Please drop a like if you enjoy the video or if you want me to make more news videos or if you just like French vehicles because I'm really interested and I can't wait to get into my Leclerc prototype and do that review for you guys. Please subscribe to the channel if you want a notification for when that video is going to go up. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.